Hey guys, it's Ash and Carl here. Welcome to this week's Kids Talk. I hope you're having a wonderful Sunday. I hope you've had a great week as well. I know I have. How good was all that rain? So today we are reading from the book of Colossians. So I'm just going to read it. It's Colossians chapter 2, verses 6 and 7. Therefore, as you have received Christ Jesus the Lord, walk in him, rooted and built up in him, and established in the faith, just as you were taught overflowing with gratitude. I don't know if you noticed kids that Bernard always tells us if something's repeated in the Bible we should pay attention to it and in that passage there was the uh, phrase in him taught to walk in him so we're just going to explore what that means. But before we get into what that all means we're first going to play a little game um, and so that's going to help us hopefully understand a little bit better. And to do that we're going to bring in some help. So Reese and Hadley can you come and help come and help us play? Now, kids at home, I need you to help out too. So everyone get up off the lounge, make sure you get mum and dad off too, off the lounge too. I want everyone to spread out, Reese and Hadley spread out, show everyone at home what to do, have enough room, and let's get playing. Okay, so this game is very simple. I'm gonna talk about a few things. I wanna see what, how they actually walk. So Reese and Hadley's gonna help demonstrate these things. So the first thing we're gonna walk like, how do you walk like a crab? Beautiful crab girls, beautiful. Okay, next one. How do you walk like a monkey? Great monkeys girls, good work. Okay, so take a step back so everyone can see. How do you walk like a big elephant? Oh, great elephants. Oh, good job at home too. Okay, final one. How do you walk like an Egyptian? Awesome job, guys. Such big help. And I'm sure you guys were a big help at home too and I hope you had lots of fun playing that game. You know, you can tell a lot about a person by the way they walk. So all this week I've been limping around because I've played football for way too many years and my knees, they're no good anymore. And I've got a bad back, so I often walk very funny too. It's fun getting old, kids. So let's explore this a little bit more by looking at some different walks. Okay, so here comes Kennedy. What does her walk say about her? Wow, she looks like a ballerina to me. Okay, and now Elias. He's got a very distinct walk. Mm, he's a real cowboy, isn't he? Okay, let's see what Reese has for her walk. Well, I think she's a soldier. Okay, and last of all, we've got Hadley. What does her walk say? Open the door, go on the floor, I'm gonna do the dinosaur. Well, I think that one speaks for itself. So if you remember back from our Bible passage, it says that we should walk in Him. That's walking Jesus. So what does that mean? As the kids of Marabra Anglican Church family, we are so blessed to receive teaching about who Jesus is. Just like in Colossians, we are taught that Jesus is Lord. This means that He is the boss. We receive this teaching every week from Bernard and Neil. We receive it every week during Kids Talk. We receive it at Bible study. We receive it at home from our mums and dads. We also receive it when we spend time reading the Bible for ourselves. When we walk, we need to walk in a way that shows that Jesus is our boss. Other people should know we belong to him. This doesn't mean that we have to be perfect, because as sinners we can't be. But what we can do is make sure that Jesus is our boss. And we can do this by remembering the things that we have been taught about who Jesus is. Okay, that's Kids Talk for this week. Have a great week. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.